And it's the Pistons to start out. A look at the Pistons starting group. On the take, Thomas. It's tipped. Now here's Jordan. He's guarded closely. Inside. Here's Longley. And the layup falls. Coming out swinging and hitting the game's first bucket. Well, for us, it'll be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? Here's Thomas. Pass to Dumars. Here's Lambeer. Goes back up. Mahorn. Here's Aguirre. Oh, trying his luck from deep. And again, the Pistons missing. Here's Harper. To the wing on the left. Now here's Jordan. Driving in. And slam dunk by Jordan. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Pass to Lambier. To the left wing. Five on the clock. And again, the Pistons missing. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now here's Jordan. Takes it inside. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Here's Dumars, covered by Jordan. Pass to Lambier. Here's Thomas. Tries it from 19. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Here's Harper. And that one is hammered home. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but they give it to him again. I, I bet three points are coming. Here's Pippen. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. The Pistons trailing. in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Mahorn. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Pippen. Drives to the hoop. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Here's Mahorn. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. There's a screen. Oh, rejected by Jordan. Here's Pippen. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. He's got six. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Here's Thomas. Pass to Lambier. And that one hits the back iron. Here's Chicago now. They're on a 14-2 run here. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. One forty-nine left in the opening quarter. Here's Rodman. And here's Johnson. Just five to shoot. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Aguirre. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. And Chicago has possession. Out left to the wing. 
from deep. Jordan on target from range. Jordan's got nine points. <laughs> They've come out hot. I mean, really hot. Perfect from the field thus far. Outside Johnson. To the left side wing. Pass to Rodman. Edwards with it. And he can't get that one. Here's Pippen, covered by Johnson, with the drive, and that one is stuffed right through. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area, just dominating, controlling that spot. Here's Aguirre, pass to Long. Here's Aguirre. And here's Johnson, shot clock at five. Ah, nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Now here's Jordan. Defense is right there. Ooh, he's locked in. Drains his fifth shot in his many attempts. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You've got to be able to hit the easy ones. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. It's the Bull. Fans, you're lovable. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Chicago. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Something else you can't help but notice in tonight's game is just how strongly they've been taking the ball to the basket. They're not sitting back. They're not playing passive. They're going hard to the rim. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And for the Pistons, Rodman, no good. Here's Chicago now. A 21-point lead, the biggest of the game. And for Chicago, here's Kukoc. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. Here's Jordan. Six on the shot clock. And slam dunk by Jordan. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Here's Thomas. Cash money on the open jump shot. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Jordan. 13 points in the game. Oh, he remains perfect. Seven for seven, showing no signs of letting up. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. There's a screen. Here's Thomas. And it's rejected. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Shoot from the baseline. Here's Kukoc. Picked his pocket. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Into the lane. Thomas misses. And it's the Bulls' ball. They've only given up two points this quarter. And slam dunk by Jordan. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. This Pistons squad struggling to the inside. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate assist like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Thomas. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Rodman. Here's Kerr. That's just a lap right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. I'm out. All right. And the Pistons with possession here. Rick Mahorn. Here's Dumars. 
Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Jacks up a three. Rebound by Bushler. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Pass to Lambier. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Quarter number two in around three minutes gone by. Down low. Here's Pippen. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Here's Rodman. Pass to Thomas. Out of bounds. It'll be Bulls ball. Now into the lineup for the Pistons. Here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. And Kerr gets it to go. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Here's Thomas. Tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. Detroit will have another go. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close. And I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Here's Edwards. Rebound by Bushler. Here are the Bulls with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. To the paint. Here's Pippen. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's 6 for 6. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Pass to Mahorn. Now here's Johnson. A minute 35 left to play in the half. Here's Thomas. The kick out to Johnson. Two on the clock. Tries the spin move. And it's off target. Not sure why he took that one. Here's Harper, covered by Johnson. To the middle. Here's Pippen. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. So it's Chicago now. After the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Longley. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Elevates and detonates the one-hand stuff. Picture perfect. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Tries a 10-footer. Here's Thomas. That one's wide left. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Nails it from three. Give him eight. Now this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Here's Thomas. No good from 18. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with zero pressure as they hold on to a 35. first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Shutting the floor for the Pistons. Pass to Pippen. Here's Rodman. 
Out to the wing. Now Jordan. He's got 17. Shot clock at three. It's rebounded by Lambeer. Here's Aguirre. 14 feet away. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Pass to Dumars. Here's Thomas. Here's Aguirre. Second shot opportunity. And it's Mahorn missing. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Jordan gets it to go. He's now 9 for 11 on the night. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Here's Thomas, covered by Jordan. Pass to Dumars. There's the drive. Boom! He jams it straight down. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. And here's Detroit. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Bulls foul, Michael Jordan. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Now into the lineup for the Pistons, Dennis Rodman. And so it's Detroit with it. Here's Thomas. Here's Lambeer. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Detroit. And he drops a first. Lambeer. Taking two shots. Good on both. Here's Harper. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Dumars, covered by Jordan. Pass to Lambeer. Got a hand on it. Jordan with it. He's got 19. Here's Pippen. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got 18. It just was totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. He's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Here's Dumars, covered by Jordan. To the paint. Pass to Rodman. Five to shoot. Here's Dumars. 4-3. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. Oh, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. So both teams making some changes here. Here's Harper. An easy two on the layup. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Pass to Rodman. Here's Lambeer. Here's Aguirre. Four on the clock. Outside Johnson. Knocked loose. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. And here's Jordan. Two minutes remaining in the third. Inside. Two minutes. There's a minute 54 left in the third. Here's Lambeer. He has six with the fadeaway. And again, the Pistons missing. Timeout called here. Chicago, Chicago decides to talk it over. 
Now into the lineup for the Pistons. 1.41 left in the third quarter. Jordan inside. Pass to Bushler. Now here's Jordan. The D's right on him. Just five on the clock. Here's Bushler. There's the triple. Rebounded by Johnson. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Right side, Edwards. Here's Long. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Back to Edwards. A shot to stop the drill! And it's Jordan with the rebound. 55 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. All right! Look who's coming on to the court! Come on! Get loud for your lovable! All right! Look who's coming on to the court! Come on! Get loud for your lovable! Substitution for 54 your seconds left in the third. Daddy Pippen! Ron Kerr! Here's Kerr, covered by Johnson. And Kerr gets it to go. Ten points for him. I love this game plan. That's ten points in a row from in close. Pass to Johnson. And count it from 19 feet away. 34 seconds left to play in the third. Down low. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on Dennis anybody. Rodman. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power for it, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Long. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Dumars. Fires the three. And so it's the Chicago Bulls showing no mercy and just piling it on. Looking dominant and focused right now. The Huck. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dive. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Pass to Long. Here's Rodman. Out to the right wing. Here's Long. Clock at four. Now here's Johnson. Oh, he tries a three. Here's Rodman. As usual, Dennis terrific Rodman. effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Setting the floor for the Pistons. To the inside. Kukoc. Can't get it to fall. Here's Long. With his first shot attempt. Tries again. And he takes it up and lays it in. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Smith, he's checked in for the Pistons. James Smith. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. To the right side. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Harper. The three. Smith with the rebound. Now Johnson. Rebound by the Bulls. To the middle. Here's Kukoc. Drops in the short one. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Outside Johnson. Tries it from the top of the key. Rebounded by Pippen. 
And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Now, you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. You got to know where he is at all times. Outside Johnson. Pass to Mahorn. No good that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Timeout called for the Bulls. Fans, you're lovable. Substitution for your call, Luke Longley, Dennis Rossman. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Pippen. Clock at six. Here's Jordan. Puts up a three. And the basket by Pippen. 23 points in the game. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Johnson with it. Jordan's there. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Oh, oh nice. Oh, look at the bench. Down. I mean, the bench is going nuts. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Jordan against Johnson. Pass to Smith. Here's Mahorn. Here's Long. Misses, and the dry spell continues. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the Embers going. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. Yeah, this team did something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. Something's off about him this quarter. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Here's Thomas. Pass to Mahorn. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Chicago ball. One twenty-one left in the fourth. Jordan inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Jordan's got 25 points in the game. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. One minute left in the fourth quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Thomas. Left side, Edwards. Over Jordan, and the shot no good. A bit short. Chicago with the ball. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Inside, here's Pippen. And he slams it in one-handed. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Thomas misses. 
Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. And here's Chicago. Over to the left wing. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Jordan inside. Detroit with a rebound. Here's Rodman. Looking to end the run. Blocked! And there's the drive. That's tipped. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it.